What would keep us from, keep, from believing and trusting that Jesus was faithful to his promises, that Jesus would do what he said? But you see, the enemy comes along and he attempts to distort the image of God. He, dis, he attempts to, to create problems in fear. And where does fear come about? It comes from hearing. Because to believe, the New Testament gives us the understanding. The word believe in the New Testament means to be persuaded. And how are we persuaded as human beings? By what we hear. And you and I need to know that fear comes by hearing and hearing by the lies of the devil. But at the same time, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That's why we need to recognize that the, that the very battle is in our minds. That's why in the New Testament, Peter wrote to us and said, our adversary, the devil, 1 Peter 5, our adversary, the devil, walks about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. See, he roars because what he says, he wants us to believe that he's big and bad and can do whatever he wants to do. And if we, if we allow fear to grip our hearts, just like the prey of a lion is frozen in fear, if our hearts become frozen thinking that Satan is bigger than God, then we can experience his negative effects. But no, the Bible went on to, Peter went on to say, but resist him steadfastly in the faith. Why? Again, the battle's in our mind.